Hey everyone, Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here. I hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. So today, as a follow-up to Monday's video where I shared my review of my newly acquired Toy Story Mr. Spell replica made by Daniel at Toy Story Replicas UK, I have one more replica I ordered from him at the same time that I wanted to show you guys, and that would be Hockey Puck, as seen in the original Toy Story. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? Yep, as you know, that was it. That was the character's brief yet iconic four second appearance and then Hockey Puck would never be seen again in any Toy Story film or short. So as you know, Mr. Potato Head is voiced by the late great comedian Don Rickles, but something you might not know is that this classic Hockey Puck gag in Toy Story is a direct reference to Rickles' famous insult that he'd throw at people during his real life comedy, calling them Hockey Pucks. He said to him it sounded like a swear, but he didn't want to swear, so he started calling people Hockey Pucks as an insult. As said here in this article, the phrase became so linked to Rickles in his career that when he voiced Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story, the character used the insult to a toy hockey puck. So anyway, once you realize this, it makes the joke in the film even funnier knowing that the character of Hockey Puck is actually literally just a Don Rickles insult personified as a toy. Alrighty, well, moving on to this custom here, that's why you're all here. Hockey Puck is yet another Toy Story character that Disney Pixar has never officially produced as a full-scale toy or replica in over 26 years. Just like with Mr. Spell, I have hoped for and waited for Hockey Puck to be made since I was like five years old and it never happened. The only version we ever got was the Mattel Toy Story Buddy Pack Hockey Puck, which is super small. Um, so once again, I got tired of waiting for an official screen accurate one to get made and finally just decided to fork out the money for a custom one. Now, a lot of Toy Story fans have made custom hockey pucks over the years, most of them using 3D printed pieces, while some actually use real hockey pucks, so there are actually currently lots of options out there for me to buy this character. Some of them, though, are much better than others, I have to say, um, but after a bit of research and comparing the different customs out there to screenshots from the film, I decided that this one here by Toy Story Replicas UK was my best option, at least from what the photos in the listing looked like. So as you can see here, the overall look of this hockey puck is super spot on. His size and proportions, his colors, and overall appearance is incredibly accurate. It's really like the character jump out of the screen and into my hands right here. I love the subtle paint weathering on the red hockey sticks in the middle. That's a detail I, I don't really see too often on other custom hockey pucks, so I really appreciate that. And so yeah, from the front just looking straight on, it's pretty perfect. Like when he's just being displayed on my Toy Story shelf, this custom totally works works. However, and this is my only slight complaint, as soon as you tilt him to where the light is hitting him at an angle, you can unfortunately see the custom homemade quality here. See, he's just not very smooth. Like, I feel he should be a lot smoother than this. Um, same goes for the feet here. He's got lots of raised bumps, lines, ridges, and noticeable paint strokes and, and such all over. So, yes, I do wish it was smoother in that regard. It's, it's honestly certainly not as flawless as Mr. Spell, but again, it totally works as just a display piece to at least have this character finally represented in my collection. It also looks great in my photography as well. And you know what? The imperfections are just part of the charm here, not to mention... Each one of these is 3D printed slash made by hand, so each one will come out looking totally different. I, I get that. Um, mine won't look exactly the same as yours, and there very well could be cleaner copies of this being shipped out. Who knows? But if this is a concern for you, I'd check with the seller before buying this just to be sure. If I had noticed this in the photos, I certainly would have reached out about it beforehand um, just to make sure everything was good, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, I did also want to show off the rest of the puck here, of course. Like, we got this nice textured ridge, which is accurate to a real hockey puck. Um, this isn't a real hockey puck, however. This is definitely 3D printed, as this whole character is pretty lightweight overall. Um, his hands look really good, no complaints there and here is the back side of him. This side is much smoother, I do have to say, than the front, um, but the lines and paint strokes are still pretty noticeable. Um, and as far as size, Hockey Puck here is just a smidge under four inches tall, roughly six inches wide from fingertip to fingertip, and has a depth of about one inch. Oh, and I should note that he doesn't have any articulation, he's just a completely static replica. 
Well, I think that just about covers it. Just a pretty quick review today since this is a small character without a whole lot to go over. I am super grateful to have this. He already looks so great on display with the rest of my Toy Story collection. And again, I'm just thrilled to have a hockey puck after all this time. So yeah, another huge thanks to Toy Story Replicas UK for creating this for us fans. It is very well done, definitely better than I could ever do. And also getting it to me by Christmas, that was awesome. Thank you so much. If you're interested in adding this hockey puck to your collection, I'll drop the links to buy below in the description. It's available through either eBay or Etsy. And with shipping, I did pay $111.02. So expect to pay something around there. Yeah, that's pretty hefty for a small character like this, but I understand all the work that goes into a custom like this. So it is what it is. And um, though I'm, I'm curious though, what do you guys think? Have you ordered a custom hockey puck from anyone? And if so, do you have any recommendations? Do you have a favorite one that you feel is the most screen accurate? As usual, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments down below. And if you did enjoy this review, I hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news and reviews from my personal collection. Don't forget to ring that bell. Find me all over social media at DanThePixarFan, and I will see you in my next video.